Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about some more books I'm really looking forward to in 2023. So the reason why I'm making this video is because some more bookish news has come out and I'm very excited about some of these books that I've recently discovered that we'll be releasing in the latter half of 2023. And really this is an expansion on my most anticipated reads of 2023 that I uploaded at the end of last year. By the time that this video is uploaded, two of the books on this list will already be released, but I am excited for all of them nonetheless. And the books in this video are in release date order and let's just get to the first one. First up is an adult romance fantasy book that released on May 2nd and I do already have a copy of this and it is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros and I am in the midst of filming the reading vlog for this book so keep an eye out for that when that is uploaded soon. I first noticed Fourth Wing when I was browsing on Indigo and I saw a section on book talk books and I'm really not on TikTok much these days but I was very curious to see about this book that I haven't heard before and then I searched it up on Goodreads and it had so many good ratings so that really piqued my curiosity and I picked it up. <laughs> this book takes place at a college for dragon riders and we're following 20 year old Violet Soaringale who is first entering this college. However, there are a limited number of dragons that can be bonded and then that results in a fierce and deadly competition. Also, it doesn't help for Violet that she is the daughter of the general that paints a target on her back, especially for wing leader Zayden. For this one, I'm very much expecting brutal dragon fights and romance intensity, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Next is Yellow Face by RF Kuang and this was released on May 16th. We follow two authors who both debuted in the same year in publishing. First we have Athena Liu who is a rising star and very popular. And we have June Hayward who didn't even get a paperback release. June witnesses Athena's death in a freak accident and on impulse June takes Athena's finished manuscript for her upcoming novel and June sends off this finished manuscript to her agent and then it is published under pseudonym Juniper Song and this book takes off to become a bestseller but soon the truth will catch up to June and I did really find this concept in this book really interesting covering plagiarism and racism as well within the publishing industry. Although I am going into this book with a little bit of skepticism because in Babel, which is another book RF Kuang wrote, the messages in Babel were very overwhelming and I hope that it's not so at the same tone as in Babel, like in Yellow Face. But I really do have high hopes going into this book when I do get around to it. And what else do I need on this list? Rom-coms. On July 11th, we have Hello Stranger by Catherine Center being released. The description on this book made me want to read it ASAP. We're following Sadie Montgomery who is a struggling artist and she is hoping for her lucky break. And she might just find that in a portrait competition. But a surgery doesn't go as expected and as a result, Sadie is unable to remember people's faces and Sadie finds herself falling for two different guys. First we have the emergency veterinarian, Dr. Addison, when Sadie's senior dog falls ill. And then we also have her neighbor, Joe, who seems to be around at really convenient times. <laughs> what really did pique my interest in the story is the concept of face blindness, of where you can't remember people's faces and how that could play into a rom-com. So that's a really interesting mix to me and I really hope that it is executed well. Next is an adult epic fantasy retelling of Shakespeare. Antony and Cleopatra. This one is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong and this is her adult debut book releasing on July 25th. I actually haven't read a book from Chloe Gong before but I am quite interested in her YA fantasy series These Violent Delights because there's a lot of hype around that but with this being her adult debut novel I'm actually not familiar with this Shakespeare play but nonetheless, I am very curious to see how I would like going into it and to how our characters will be in a competition, fighting to the death for wealth and how they deal with that. So I'm very excited for this one as well. 
Next up is a YA fantasy romance about witches, and this is Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin, releasing August 1st. This book is a lush fantasy about Tana Fairchild. Tana's life has been planned out for her. She is set to marry our governor's son, and this will forge an alliance between the witches on her hometown island and the mainlanders. There's a ritual that Tana misses that helps to release her magic and to control the ocean. Then she meets Wolf, who is from a dark magic witch coven. He helps her out, but he also tempts her with a more wilder fate. I'm betting that this one will be quite atmospheric and quite witchy, and I am interested to see how I like Rachel Griffin's writing. Next up, we have a new trilogy that is set in the same world as A Darker Shade of Magic, and this is The Fragile Threads of Power by B.E. Schwab, releasing on September 26th, and I am currently in the progress of rereading the original trilogy, and so far I've been really enjoying that as well. I did include this book in my first anticipated reads video of 2023, but we didn't have a title or a cover or a description. <laughs> But now that we have this information, looking at this cover, it's okay. Um, I hope they have other covers coming out that match the original trilogy. But this new trilogy is still set in the same world as the original one. We are set in a world where there are four parallel worlds that are interconnected through the city of London. But to access these magical worlds, it can only be done through magicians known as Antari. These Antari magicians are quite rare, but a new one has popped up in White London. There's also ongoing and brewing rebellion in Red London with King Rai, and a new mysterious girl, Tess, who has a unique magical ability. I do think that this new series will be amazing, and I'm excited to see how the original characters will tie into this new story. Next up is A Curse of True Love by Stephanie Garber, and this one is releasing October 24th. This is the third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, and this trilogy is a YA fantasy romance. This series does build upon the world from the Caraval trilogy, but we are following our main character, Evangeline Fox, who strikes a desperate deal with an immortal Prince of Hearts, Jax. But this deal entangles Evangeline into twisty curses and fairy tales. I remember last year when I was reading book two that the ending of book two was absolutely really intense and I can't wait to see how this entire trilogy will conclude and wrap up and I'm quite sure that I will be crying at some point in book three. But if you are interested in a review of the first two books in this trilogy, I do have a review up for you. Last but not least for books I'm looking forward to is a cozy fantasy and this is actually a prequel. This one is Bookshops and Bonus by Travis Baldry, releasing on November 7th and it is the prequel to Legends and Lattes. I have yet to read Legends and Lattes but I only hear good things about it. I do know that we're following an orc Viv who is running a coffee shop in Legends and Lattes and then in this prequel according to the title is now we follow Viv in a bookshop. So I'm really interested to see how I like this type of genre and I think it's a nice change of pace from the typical like epic fantasies and non-stop action. I really am interested to see in like a normal day-to-day -day life in a fantasy world for an orc. Those were all the books that I'm really excited for for the rest of 2023 and I hope that you found a book or two to add to your own TBR. I hope you all have an amazing day and thank you so much for stopping by and also hope that you can give me a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next one.